20,000 tons of gold. It's a lot of gold. Crypto slow, cryptocurrency news and investing. Crypto slow with more crypto gains. What's going on, guys? Happy hump day. And a hump day that is. Uh, we had some carnage in the DAP markets in the last couple days with divs dried up on boom. Ah, man. Well, hopefully it's beta and I'm going to hold on to my boom tokens and we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully it comes back. They had some competitions or something, but uh, FOMO. Mm. FOMO got us. So, on today's topic, does China really have 20,000 tons of gold? 20,000 tons of gold. It's a lot of gold. So, um, basically it's kind of on the news. There's been a couple reports that um, China has not 2,000 tons of gold, but 20,000 tons of gold. How much is that worth? Well, a ton, a metric ton of gold is about 50 to 55 million dollars. So that makes 20,000 tons basically worth a trillion dollars. Now, how, like, why would they be hiding gold assets? Well, obviously, China had a run of manufacturing and um, they probably made, I mean, look at Walmart, Target, everything is China. So they've been stacking and compounding for a while. Now, what is, what does this have to do with anything? All the tea in China. <laughs> um, it has a lot to do with it, actually. So China announced they were all in on blockchain and they're talking about creating their own crypto. Well, it only makes sense. Anybody can create a crypto, but if it's not backed by anything, then it really doesn't matter. So, um, basically, they want to, the, 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 like the conspiracy theory or whatever you want to call it is that China will use that gold which is the equivalent of about $1 trillion to back this new crypto. So why would they do this and what does this mean? Well, I kind of see it if this does actually come to fruition. First of all, a trillion dollars isn't enough to cover um, all, all the money in circulation in China, obviously. Um, but, do I think they would fractionally back it? No. I see this more as kind of a soft exit from the dollar for China in the sense that people, the demand will increase and people will buy this gold backed crypto. And, you know, there's been, there, if you, if you search around, there's been some runs on local banks where the Chinese people line up and try to get their cash out. Now, obviously, you're like, well, why is that? Well, remember, China has a ton of, le of leveraged debt. Uh, well, it's leveraged on the U.S. side. So in essence, America owes China a ton of dollars, right? So if everyone in China starts going to the bank and withdrawing their, uh, their money, there could be a shortage of currency because remember, banks are fractional. They don't actually have all the money. They're shifting and moving money around. Now, what do I think this means for the US? Well, obviously this does not bode well for the dollar. It's almost kind of like an Armageddon against the dollar. But I think the fact that it's a trillion dollars, that it's more of a soft exit because then people would be trading their cash for this gold-backed crypto. And it basically would be like kind of a slow divergence over to that, leaving the dollar high and dry, which 
our purchasing power against China would basically drop a lot. It would drop a lot. Um, and this could have major implications on our goods and services in the U.S. And basically because if the only way we can get Chinese goods is to use this gold-backed crypto, then we're going to have to go to market and buy this gold-backed crypto. And as you know, nothing in the U.S. is backed by anything. It's all electronic and, and leveraged, um, super leveraged debt. So it's basically worthless in the scheme of open market. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Because like I said, the on the books, China has about 2,000 tons of gold. But now they're saying that there could be 20,000 tons of gold. And they'll use this to back their new crypto. So we're just going to have to wait and see. See what kind of articles come out. Information, pictures. And we'll follow this whole Chinese crypto blockchain situation. So, hope you liked today's vlog. Like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. This is Crypto Slow. You're not.